talking about the rank, let's do red light, green light. Do. And oh, there, there's people. Oh! We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Is this what we all think it is? Is this Squid Games on Minecraft? About freaking time. Seriously, Minecraft, what took you so long? But hello, everybody, and welcome to Minecraft Squid Games, the public server. Like, seriously, what took Minecraft so long? Like, th this was prime opportunity to release a minigame and get tons of people playing Minecraft. But instead, no. You let Roblox do it first, and then you let someone create, like, something called Crab Game first, and that gets all the plots. Seriously, why did Minecraft take so long to create Squid Games? Apparently, the English population really didn't want to make this. And when they did want to make this, they wanted to make this either a private event on Twitch, or like some tournament filled with all the biggest streamers. But thankfully, the Spanish people don't want to do that sort of thing and want everyone to have fun. And that's what they're here to do. I'm not going to move my head this time. And that is why the game is a bit in Spanish, but thankfully, I understand. And I mean, it's red light, cream light. You really don't have, you really don't have to understand what the words mean. Because, like, one is green, the other is red. You move when it's green. You stop when it's red. You cross the red line, you win. And you have 20 seconds left, as you see on the sidebar here. And a lot of people have died. Which sucks to be them. <laughs> Definitely wasn't me at all last round. I don't know why you would think that would be. <laughs> Listen, I didn't know you could just move. And there you go. 34 people are left. 12 players are dead. Seriously, what's taken so long for Minecraft servers to do this? Like, th this game should not be hard to code. But here we are on the second game, with, which is like the one where we have to cut the shapes. And this is simple enough, but also kind of nice like it's cool that minecraft can actually make this game work and the way that they do that is well you have to cut the shape just like in the show and so you have a stick and you need to point exactly at the shape of the figure so that you don't die you see you have the umbrella you have the triangle you have the star and you have the the, the circle yeah no wait where's the circle circle or the Oh, there you go, the circle. See the the Minecraft circle that exists made out of squares. Only three people died this time, but now, now if you remember in the show, people start getting killed at this point. So we're just gonna go to a corner and have a nice peaceful life because now we've got blindness for about an entire minute, and we've got a sword and a bit of armor. And in case it's not obvious, if you die here, you're out of the game. So we're going to do the amazingly strategic way, which is stand in a corner and wait for the lights to turn back on. <laughs> Listen, it's only 30 seconds. You're not really going to be killing that many people. And to be fair, in this game, you want to have people alive. It might not seem logical that you'd want people alive in this game, but really, you do. You want there to be people alive. Because if you remember the show, th there is one round that is still coming up where you kind of want people to be alive for. Because you need them to be human sacrifices, if you get if you get what I mean. Human sac- Oh, a lot of people just died. Oh, that's not very nice. But we still got 21 of us left. And now we go to tug of war, which is interesting. Like some servers, like like in the in the Mister in the Mister Beast Minecraft event, they did it like PvP. This is different. They make it like a a spam mini game where you're supposed to hit the left click at the middle to gain more points. The closer you do it to the middle, the more points you gain. But you see that that is just too complicated, and I do not care enough for it. So I'm just going to spam because that will work. And I mean, it's not working because I am losing, and this is a 1v1 type game mode, so I might lose. Admittedly, this is the one game where I don't know what the best strat is, 
I could obviously just wait every time to get to the red and get the most points. Because, like, you get on green, you get one point. You hit on yellow, you get two. You hit on orange, you get three. You hit on red, you get four. But, like, that, what about, that's not exactly the most, like, probably the best thing. Oh, my God, I am losing by so little. Come on. No, I lost by, like, three points. I lost by like three points. That's the bull. I hate. Why? Why did I lose by like three points? Tug of War is a weird game. I will give you that. Tug of War is a very strange game. But back in here we go. Listen, I don't think we might. We're gonna get a lot of money today. We just lose in Tug of War. Which, to be fair, I think I'm gonna turn the sound just a little bit up. I feel like it hasn't been existing at all. Like, to be fair, I feel like Tug of War is probably the game where I would die. <laughs> Especially if it was 1v1, the way it is here. To be fair, I like the way it is here a bit better than if it's just 1v1 PvP. Because even though I would win a lot easier if it was 1v1 PvP, the show isn't 1v1 PvP. That's Squid Game. That, that's the last game. <laughs> and here, Tug of War, it's more about like pulling and how to pull and pulling at the right time. So kind of a rhythm clicking game is a good idea. The problem is that you click, it doesn't reset the clock. So is it really a good idea to always be waiting for the red? Is it a better idea to just be spamming it the whole time, you know? So yeah, we're back in red light, green light. We're standing still. Oh! Isn't. Oh! You just love seeing those massacres, don't you? And people who don't know what to stop, when to stop. They rush. They rush so much. If you can't be doing that, there's enough time for everyone. Like, come on. Who would lose at red light, green light? That, that doesn't sound like something that could happen. It's such a simple to understand game. Why, why would anyone? Oh, and like five people died again. And we're blue. <laughs> uh, this game is great. It's one where people die a lot. Oh, and there that one goes. And once you get through the line, you just walk back in, and no longer you're no longer in danger. It'd be a lot of if it were, because now people are just standing there like shifty. It's like, ah, can't kill me now. When realistically, they definitely should. Oh my god, 20 people dead, 30 lived. I'm saying 20 because, I mean, this game started with 50, so one person left, but that's not the point. And we're back to cut another shape. So basically, you saw me do it perfectly with, I don't remember what it was. But you can't easily die in this game, as those two other people have shown. And that's because if you don't hit the colored blocks with, like, where you're aiming, you're gonna take damage. Take damage twice, you die. Simple as that. But this is a game that should be 100% survivable. Because you get enough time to do it. It's just about being calm and precise for where you point your crosshair. You should be fine. And we even get some parkour here to help us, you know, spend some time. It's kind of like how in the actual show you get like a children's playground with a slide and stuff. It's like, yeah, you know, once you're done doing the cookie, go go play on the slide. Oh god, it's the kill it's the kill people game. I need to I need to get high ground. So I'm gonna get high ground and I'm gonna get in this corner right here. And we do this again. I'm not a coward. I don't know what anyone is talking about. If this person comes over here, they are dying. You don't want to do this, Steve. You really don't. Steve. Steve, think about this. You want you want to live a good life, Steve. Just think hard and clear. I mean, Steve, you, why would you waste your life now when you could just die in tug of war later? <laughs> you got to think carefully, Steve. There's a name down there circulating. I also like shifting just so that Steve. Yeah. And th this Steve is watching out for me. Alex. This Alex is watching out for me, okay? No, he's not. He's betraying me. Goodbye. 
Thankfully, it can still be BB. Goodbye. And we're fine. Oh, and those guys are still trying to kill each other, but thankfully, we all pretty much survive. I don't think, like, one person died. That's okay. We're going to tug of war, and this time we're going to see if we can actually not mess it up. Let's actually start clicking immediately. I want to face towards the wall, just because that seems a, little, a little bit distracting. Less distracting. Well, listen, do I want to play this game strategically? No, I mean, I just want to spam the click button and watch the numbers go up. That, that's a lot more intuitive, isn't it? Like, you can see on the side what was the last hit that the person got. This person's actually trying to wait, because look at them, they're getting pretty much freeze and everything. So they are waiting for the bar to go into the oranges, at least. I'm spamming it. And as you can see, they're getting higher points at one time, but I'm just getting more points as a whole. Because I am doing the spam, and the bar doesn't reset. It would make sense if, like, if you don't, if every time you click, the bar will reset. That way you'd want to hit the red every time. But the way it is now, it doesn't make much sense to wait for the red, because you're spending time where you could be gaining points waiting for it to go to the red. Makes sense. But now here comes the game where everyone dies. <laughs> who wants to jump on the, on the glasses? Who, who, who's the brave soul? Oh my god, it's the Steve. Oh look, and there he goes. <laughs> and it's the other Steve. Other Steve goes to the right. Well, what will they do now? They have to have two left. There's still plenty to go. And that person misses the parkour jump. And so does that one. What is the use of having bodies that are sacrifices if they can't even do parkour? Like, seriously, guys. I, be I believe in you. This is the game that tends to... I won't, Like, for example, I've only seen Squid Game in this once. And it's because any game that I make it past through Tug of War ends here. And it's precisely because people don't jump. And, of course, this is coming from me, who is just staying in the back and letting everyone else jump for me. But, listen, I've got a strategy. If you see the timer on the right there, it says we have two minutes to jump. And, listen, this parkour, it can be completed in 20 seconds. So I, I can realistically just... Why? <laughs> why do so many people just keep dying? Up he goes. They're, they're, they're still alive. Come on, my dummies. Come on. Oh, and there he goes. Oh, and there that one goes. But that gives a clear path. Let's get these parkour jumps. This, I can't really fail. This is a good, this is a good thing. Honestly. Wait, this might work. There's only three people left. If they all make it, then I'll win. Yeah, go humans. Jump for me. Oh, good job, good job, humans. One Alex at a time. This is how you win squid names. Oh my god, I actually thought I was going to miss. Come on, Alex. You know it's up to you. Oh, my Alex. He did it. Go on. Go on, you two beautiful pieces of creation. You, you've both got to be absolutely kidding me. And that's what I mean. That's what I mean by all the games. They never get to the final round. Every game just ends in a draw. <laughs> because people can't do parkour. Like, seriously, we had three people for the last jump. And both of them just failed. <laughs> giving me no information. It's hilarious. It really is. But hey, we're, we're getting the Squid Games victory one way or the other. If the video is too long, then that just means I have a lot of hours to edit. The way I can catch up. No. 
it's okay. <laughs> They're not gonna get anywhere with just six people. How did that guy get to like 150? What the fuck? How did that guy get to like 150 points? That makes zero sense. Hey. No, no it won't. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> so welcome back from the I Lost a Tug of War montage that must have been like, I don't know, three or four games. We're finally back here, and if this time we lose again, I am ending the video. I don't I don't care. I don't want to go through tug of war six more times. You you don't if if you wanna know what the final game squid game is like, you can come on the server and play it yourself. <laughs> but anyways, we've got thirteen lucky people that wanna sacrifice themselves to the void. Steve goes first, the heroic human, and he's dead. A, a heroic sacrifice from the Steve. I get and a not so heroic parkour failure from the Alex. Hello, other Alex. Hello. I don't really want to be moving right now. <laughs> and that's why. <laughs> we do have the first few blocks covered, which then we still have 10 sacrifices. So, you know, I'll take this as a relative good thing if people would just jump. But that's okay. We've got two minutes. <laughs> We've got two minutes to go, and that's what the plan for me always is. I, this parkour is small. I can do it in like 20 seconds. Oh my god, it's been right like a lot of time. And people are failing parkour jumps. Well, let's start getting in ourselves. We want to be pretty much the behind everyone else. So let's succeed in the jump, and we're still fine. There's still seven of us left. And only we, we only realistically need four more sacrifices. So, someone else <laughs> Hello, Alex. I hope to see you in the finale. I really do. I just hope you don't fail a parkour jump. Team. Sure. We, we can team, Alex. We can team. Oh my god, it's legit always right! Alex, I need you to jump until the next one. I don't want to be in the block with other people. Because that will just make it extremely hard for me to see. We can do this, Alex. There's still a minute left. And this time we might actually do it. Also, I'm so glad <laughs> this chat is hilarious. <laughs> it, it really reminds me of the environment I grew up in, where everyone calls themselves gay. It's just right. It's still right. <laughs> this is honestly the most beautiful, the most beautiful thing. It's been right the whole time. And now that there's only about 20 seconds, people are going to start feeling more pressured and they're going to have to go either way. Oh, no thanks. No, I, I'm good. You can all die with me. Now, if you guys will just kindly go. And I win! <laughs> You people, I actually play the mind game, and we're not gonna get to show off the last game anyway. But who cares? We won Squid Game one game too early. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye. Also, the last game, Squid Games, it's basically TNT run. Yeah, that's pretty much what it is. One person starts as like the squid, they have to tag another person before the time runs out, and that's kind of, until one person is left, they win. It's kind of different from the show, but I pretty much like it way more than the show did. But yeah, that has been Squid Games on Minecraft. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.